G'day guys and welcome to Medieval Mayhem. On this channel you'll find lots of videos into the whole medieval period and right into the Dark Ages too. Primarily we focus on the 10th, 11th and 12th centuries but we cover a lot of other time spans too. You'll find lots of uh, videos which do reviews into other people's gear. You'll find lots of DIY videos into costuming, into furniture. You'll find cooking videos and you'll find analysis of events, how things turned out the way that they did, who was involved, what happened. Uh, and in this video what we're going to do is we're going to look at how to cut leather. It might seem really simple, it's actually uh, very important to understand that the thicker the leather is, the harder it is to cut when we're cutting with very sharp implements knives, tools and so on, uh, it, there's a lot of safety considerations we need to take into account. Let's take a look. Alrighty, a uh, couple of things when we're cutting leather. Number one, always use a really good quality straight edge. Make sure you've got a good firm purchase on it so that uh, you're not going to cut into your fingers or the knife's not going to come away. Um, I always use a brand new blade for every single project that I do and the reason for that is that the blades are not that expensive they really cost you know just really cents um, there we go all right um, don't be afraid of making multiple passes at a cut especially with thicker leather like this is. I could have gotten away with using a much thinner leather but this is just what I suppose what I had to hand at the time. Uh, this is three millimeter leather. I don't know what that is in an ounce weight for my American and Canadian viewers. Uh, I, I am in Brisbane, Australia so I'm I don't know the exact conversions to America to the um, the imperial kind of system. So, if anyone does know, can you please leave a comment below? Alrighty, guys, I really hope you got something out of today's video. Please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll catch you in my next video.